first stay so far. It's been your third time now. Uh, you know, anytime I come to the Philippines, I have so much fun. Uh, due to the fans. The fans are, are, are bananas, but I mean it in a great way. Um, they're very knowledgeable, and it's, it's just great to understand, come to a place where they understand basketball and love basketball. So uh, I've always, always loved coming. This is my third time, so y'all love it. Robert, what can you say about the love of the fans? There's a long line outside waiting to meet you. <laughs> you know, the, the fans are always great. It, it's so weird that when you get off the plane, you're there. When you go to your hotel, they're there. You know, I, I, I'm still, you know, I'm 20 years removed from the NBA, and they still want my autograph and want to see me, so I'm honored and blessed. Unless you know that they appreciate their basketball. Robert, I know you've been here three times. This is your third time already. But is there anything on your Philippine bucket list that you haven't been able to check off yet? Uh, beaches. <laughs> I, I hear that they have really good beaches, and I don't have. I haven't had a chance to go. But I was telling Pat, next time I come, I need three days there. That's all I need, just to enjoy some fun in the sun. Robert, I've heard uh, the local league here, the Philippine Basketball Association, basically uh, introduced a four-point shot. Uh, what are your thoughts on that shot? <laughs> well, you know, that's the way the game is now. You know, so many kids want to shoot the long ball, but they're not understanding it's about getting buckets. No matter if it's two, three, or four in this case, get buckets and do it with a high efficiency. So that's, to me, it, 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 when you add a four-point play, it makes kids not really want to play the game. They just want to shoot the ball. Play the game the right way, get buckets, have fun, play defense. And just enjoy the game. You know that's what that's what basketball is. One of those sports that brings so many people together that it's just fun to like watch people play and watch people understand it. Robert, from your seven championships, what's the your favorite? Uh, my favorite is actually in '95, um, just because of the, the, the journey. You know, we always talk about getting to a point. The journey to that point was so backwards for us in the sense that we didn't have home court advantage at one point throughout that playoff run. And the teams we beat, and what we were able to accomplish, you know, to go back to back to champions. And plus, you know, on a, on a personal note, I had a good series. <laughs> well, speaking of that final set, it was against Shaq, your eventful teammate. So, what was the conversation like with Shaq when you found out you're going to be teammates with the Lakers? Uh, no, we, you know, the thing about it is you don't talk about it, you know, and, and because it's in the past. You got to keep moving forward. And our goal was, to, you know, to try to get championships together. And, you know, we never talk about it. We probably talk about it now, you know. You know, as much as you know, you, you watch TNT, you watch Kenny, Shaq, and Charles and Ernie, and they talk about you know Charles not having a ring, and Kenny always sliding like, oh, yo, by the way, Shaq, we swept you, so it's just all good and fun. <laughs> you don't talk about it in the moment, but you talk about it after the moment. Uh, Robert, what do you say about playing with three of the best big men of all time, Hakeem, Shaq, and Tim Duncan? You know, it, it made my life easier. Um, it's so weird because all my life. I was considered a big on a team, and I really wasn't. You know, I was always a small forward and a tall body. And all of a sudden, you go play with Elijah one, and everybody's able to see what you're doing. Then Shaq, then Tim, they make the game so much easier and make it fun. You know, when you're playing with dominant bigs like that, you can they can erase so many of your mistakes, and, and I made a lot of them. <laughs> Robert, being one of the clutch leaders in the league, do you think you can incorporate your? Uh, how do you think you would incorporate uh, the game, the NBA back in this? It's only a four-point. Do you think you could incorporate it in your game? Um, probably not, because you know man must know his limitations, and I know the, the college line was easy. The NBA line was kind of hard for me, so you know if it would practice, you know you probably could, but it wouldn't be something I would probably incorporate in my game just because that's not who I was. You know that's that's the that's the biggest key to winning championships. You have to understand who you are and be able to help the team out, and that way you can make the team move forward. Robert, what do you say about the international team now? Uh, you know, the Olympics have just finished. Yeah. You know, they're, they're way advanced than us, you know. And what I say about that is the fundamental part of it. They understand how to play the game. You know, I was just talking about this to a couple of people downstairs. It's like, when you play international ball, you got to learn the fundamentals because fundamentals are the base of playing, being good. And so many times in the U.S., this kid has a lot of talent. So they said, go and go for what you know. And he's really not taught the game the right way. And I think that's why when you look at the NBA and you say, give me a top 10 player in the NBA, I think six or seven of them are foreign players. You know? And that, that, that's the base. You know, we, need, we as Americans do not need to be so cocky 
and stop trying to push our kids to be the NBA so quickly and teach them the game, how to understand the game so they can be fundamentally sound so they can eventually take over back at the top spots of being in the NBA. Rob, your kids are also involved in the game right now. What advice do you usually give to them that you can also share to aspirants? Don't F up. <laughs> no, I just tell them to go out and play hard. You know, I say enjoy the moment because the moment comes and it goes really fast. You know, I, I, I was telling him that I was like, before I knew it, you were born and I wasn't playing. And, and for me, there's so many times kids want to grow up and go straight to the NBA. I like I said I could have left after my junior year in college, but I love college so much. I had so much fun in college. You know that's where you grow as a person, as an individual. You be in my case, you become a man, and you understand the importance of teammates, the importance on how to do this as a group. You know, there's so many guys now that are playing. They only play and play one year in college, and they try to get their numbers. They don't care about nobody else but themselves, so they can get their numbers, so they go to the next level. But when you get to the next level, you got to understand. You can't win a championship unless you know how to play together. And that's what I'm just telling my kids, enjoy the moment, go out and play as hard as possible, and don't stress out about making it to the next level. Do what you need to do to make yourself better as an individual so when life hits you with, you know, obstacles, you're to overcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.